FOG Andrew here and the coach here from the family of gamers. Welcome War Gamers to an exciting, awesome episode. We're gonna be asking a question. And what is that question, Coach? Should we get back into Star Wars Legion? Yes. So what is the what is the short answer here? Um the short answer is I say yes. Okay. Now, well that's crazy mm -hmm. because I'm also saying yes to getting back into Legion. What? So we're both getting back into Legion. But let's... Wait, let's, wait. Before, let's just cut chase here. We were going to just record this video because I was getting back into Legion. And this is the first time you said that you wanted to get back into Legion. Now, you might say that like, oh, yeah, I'm sure. No, like, 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 <laughs> I, I didn't know. So that being said... We're going to expand on that a little bit. So, yes, should we play Star Wars Legion? Because uh, in the past we were playing um, Legion and uh, I was taking Rebels. You were taking Empire, basically. Which was all that was out at the time. Yes. And then we, we kind of stopped. Uh, you know, we were doing coverage of, like, news and stuff like that. But we kind of stopped. And then they came out with the clones and the Separatists. Um, now they've started coming out with some other stuff mm -hmm. that we have gotten if you want to show what we've gotten um shadow collective yep and super commandos unit expansion and the gar saxon commander expansion so well two two uh two shadow collective starter sets but well originally I, okay Originally, what did we think of Legion? We liked it, but there were some things that we didn't like about it. So um, that that was kind of what we. St and then it's it, it would seem like something new was coming out every week, and then every week it would replace something like that was great this week, and you get it, you paint it, you buy it, and you play it, and it's good. And then it's like, oh wait, well this is coming out. And it's better so you buy it you paint it you play it it's good and then oh wait this is better and then the thing that you really liked in the past are horrible and you right. have to play these guys right and it was it was it, we felt it was kind of a creep and um so we just kind of it kind of fell off the map for us but all in all we liked the game but there were aspects of the game that we didn't like yeah and for me i also enjoyed the game mm -hmm. um I, i've even said like hey you know what about legion like we've played it before mm -hmm. let's you know get back into it mm -hmm. but what 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 happened what what was the what was the reason we kind of got back into or so at least we got a few new guys in the group that we're playing with and one of the games was legion so we said all right i said well i have a whole empire army and i have the the rebels and i would really like to play the empire because that's what i was playing before so let's start playing so we, we played a few games got back into it and there's you know as in any game uh, went from Fantasy Flight, now it's at uh, Atomic Mass Games. They've kind of fixed some things and rules and whatever. And it's, 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 we feel, I felt it's better than it was. So I was like, all right, let's start doing it. But what I was is, I was testing the waters, so I started printing new units and, and working like that and trying to do that. Um, I don't mind buying the stuff, but if I can print a unit, proxy it, and say, okay, these guys are good, let's do that. So, I bought some of the uh, um, Shore Troopers, but I wanted to take three sets. I bought two, I printed up a set, and now I have three sets of clone tr of uh, Shore Troopers. And so we started playing, and it was pretty good. Um, and then there's a few guys into it, so you know we started playing it again. And I said, all right, you know, I'd like to maybe start getting back into it, do the channel. The Shadow Collective came out, and I was like, all right, you know what? I'm just going to buy the whole faction. I don't want to mess around. Let's let's get to it. And there's a lot of crossover, so it's it's a good purchase for me because a lot of crossover with the Empire works out. So we started playing, we played a bunch of games, and now we're I'm back into it. And then what happened? Uh, I saw you guys playing it, and I was like, "Hey, that'd be fun." Because mm -hmm. so you always you always did mention. I, I've I've always like mentioned it. Um, I I've gone back and like because uh, our boy Rodney. Uh, has you know Rodney Smith from Watch It Play it has video on Legion, mm -hmm. so I've watched that video and, and some of the videos that they've done on Legion. You know when it first came out, right? So I've gone back and watched those videos. Just you know in the like in the last like few years, like saying in between when we first got when we first got out of it, 
and now mm -hmm. I've, I've kind of gone back and watched those videos um, and then now that you got back into it I started watching the videos again to actually get you know the hang of it again and mm -hmm. and try to get back into it so I just saw you guys playing right and that was it. I was like, okay, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll hop in with my Rebs again and maybe try Empire right. or Shadow Collective. Who knows? Right. And another thing, too, is they came out with some uh, skirmish rules. So you could take, like, 400 points and do a 3x3 three three board and go like that. And mm -hmm. that was... I, st I played a few games of that just to get back into the rule set, and that, that really helped. Right. So I think uh, that might be a good starting point for you, and we could figure out... Um, I'm not too sure about what's come out for Rebels, but I think we have a lot of good stuff so that if we do Empire vs. Rebels, there's a lot of stuff that you can do. I mean, you have the ATRTs, uh, two of the snow speeders or air speeders, and, you know, I don't... I wasn't looking to be, like, a competitive player. No, you're not. We kind of, like, play the game that's fun. So that makes sense. Like, you know, like, the air speeder was my favorite ship in, in all of Star Wars. That's why I have two of them. So... You know, it's kind of cool to uh, to have that and just just play it, whatever. I think also too now with all the 3D printed terrain that we have, we can go anywhere we want, yeah. and any yeah any type of civilization, any type of uh, climate, any type of uh, you know, we can go to nice nice Endor, we can go to Hoth, we can go to a junk planet. Uh, you know, we got tons and tons of terrain to make. Uh, I think a fun game, but also. Battle reports, if you mm. still... I mean, now that you're into it, I'm sure we're going to do some battle reports. Well, uh, you know, I still got to get get back into the swing of things and actually start mm. start playing the games and stuff like that. Um, but looking at the stuff that we've gotten here, um, mm. I just want to say... So the uh, Shadow Collective starter set comes with uh, a set of Pikes, Black Suns, and um, Shadow Collective Mandalorians with Darth Maul, of mm. course. Um, when I saw this... The other thing I was like, wow, the pikes look really cool. Right. Like, they look really cool. The guy with the whip, uh, you know, this one guy's got a baton and stuff like that. So, I mean, it, it's they, they look cool, so I, I've been kind of eyeing them a little bit to maybe take them with, you know, Empire or maybe Rebs, mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, if that can work. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I, I think that... Looking at that, and then also watching you guys play was definitely a, a, a thing mm. that kind of got me motivation uh, motivated to, to actually play mm. it. Um, stay tuned, by the way, for unboxings on this and the other boxes that we got, because mm. those will be coming out uh, soon, definitely. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. so, so, so I'm I'm all in. Yeah, you. Yeah, pretty much. I think what you need to do is see what we have, and then see what you would want to like what we want to get or print or whatever because we're not adverse to printing um i know if you go to a tournament you should really have the stuff that the company does but we're playing with friends in here and we're battle reporting with friends i don't know if we ever get into the tournament scene we might have to do that but we have enough stuff where we could we could be a uh a competitive faction right now for rebs and for empire yeah yeah so yeah I, i'm glad so i say yes i say yes so, it's, I guess it's a yes. I, I guess, I guess uh, should we play Star Wars Legion? It's definitely a yes. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, if you guys want to see more Star Wars Legion right. stuff, you should definitely subscribe to the channel and check out this video right here because this is what the algorithm says that you must watch. And like I said, subscribe. Subscribe. It's right somewhere right here. And also, check out the Patreon if you want to help support the channel. Leave a comment and uh, tell us what you think. Yep. See you in the next one.